Callis, two slips in the gully. I've got to tell you that um, I'm just a little bit surprised. And, well, maybe that he tries me on the other end, but I, I seriously would be considering giving Murali Duran a go early on here. Ponting early on against Murali has always been a little bit suspect. But I think he'll be the first of the spinners utilize Matayam Murali Duran. Just the three seamers in the team. I think bringing Jack Callis into the attack is a good move though because there is a bit of grass on the surface. He does get the ball to hit that seam, will get a bit of movement. These Kukabura balls, you need the quicker men, the seamers, to get into them as quickly as possible. The seam won't last all day. Well fielded. Well, a bit of commitment there from Vittori at mid-off. It's that Black Sox man again, Daniel Vittori. Fortunately for Ricky Ponting when he went down, of course, it, with him being a left-hander, he was going to his right. So it took him a bit of time to throw the ball back towards the stumps. As a matter of fact, he bowled it back to the stumps. Well fielded, well done. Try and keep it up there and give it a chance to swing. I think that's the key here. And Callis, we know over the years, has um, has been able to swing the ball a bit. Umpire Kutzen, just having a little look at the pitch. He's obviously following through pretty close to that danger zone. didn't look that attractive whatever he did whether you want to call it playing a shot or not I think in the end he left the ball but that's again the length get the batsman onto the front foot get him thinking about driving certainly don't want to be bowling half volleys but you still need to be bringing him onto the front foot Uh, that one and uh, of course there's his follow through there just watch uh, just watch his follow through here mm -hmm. get right off he can't come down the line of the stumps Harmison continuing now and uh, for those of you who didn't watch the one day matches uh, a few changes here the umpires are allowed to refer everything uh, to the third umpire that's uh, an experiment and they've got an earpiece in as well that earpiece providing them with uh, the noises uh, from the microphone down the other end so um, they can turn them up and wind them down a little bit if they want but they can hear a little bit better what's going on down the other end good idea that one as far as i'm concerned that means they can hear the edges and the sledging That's true, yes, I suppose that's correct. Oh, Juna Ranatunga always had a theory about that sledging, didn't he? He said, turn them up, turn the mics up, let's hear what they've all got to say. Let the people hear. <laughs> Not too sure that is a great idea. Good shot, that's well played. Just slightly overpitched by Harmison. You don't see him bowl many in that area. A very well executed off drive. That's a good shot from Ricky Ponting. Still say that's close to the length you want with bowling though. Perhaps a bit too full. You need the length to be just a bit shorter than that so that the ball has enough time between where it pitches and when it gets to the bat. 
to do a bit of movement. You're not going to get it perfect all the time. And that's what this game is all about. When the bowler doesn't get it perfect, the batsman is due to score. Back right on that length. Right back up there. I think that's a reasonably well balanced attack though. Flintoff and Harmison supported by Jacques Callis. On this pitch perhaps you could think of playing a third seamer but just thinking of Sydney, that's a pretty good lineup. Australian bowlers of course, top row. They too have included two spinners in their lineup. McGill and Warren. Shane Watson, the all-rounder, compare, comparable to Callis, except Callis would be a better batsman. And the two quickies, Brett Lee and Glenn McGrath. Those are the test of bowling averages. And their strike rates. Well, that's very well played. A little bit of uh, wit there, and Hayden doesn't mind a bit of wit. Really flayed that one through the offside field. In no real danger at all with that shot, Matty, and it was so wide. There's no man at point. There are three men for the drive for Matt Hayden. One is a straight extra cover, one is in mid-off, and one is a short mid-off. There they are. That man to the right of the picture is going back into a gully. He's not at point, so that area is vacant. Got a bit to prove here, Matty Hayden. He made 100 sure at the Oval, and um, then he got home to find that he was dropped from the one-day side. He'll want to make sure that um, he delivers. And he started pretty well, and he's been a little bit more cautious than normal. to David Boone and again smash through the offside field eight off the over Callis is not happy one for 40 <laughs> into the gap nice placement by Ponting Laura fielding square of the wicket and that's Saywag uh, deep in the gully. Can just see Ponting opening the pace of the bat, making sure he got it exactly where he wanted it. Right off the middle, no semblance of any edge there. in that one and the crowd just uh, beginning to build up uh, here obviously um, Saturday and Sunday are going to be the big days thirty overs have been bowled the Aussies uh, having lost an